Now, I have been saying for a while that hydroxychloroquine has been around for 60 years, treats many things. If nothing else, we know it doesn't you know, indiscriminately kill humans. And there are a wide range of stories about hydroxychloroquine that uh, say it has great effects and as a prophylactic, it has a slowing effect on the replication of cells. I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on TV. But um, now Dr. Simone Gold, which was one of the primary leaders with um, our friend Mary Beth was down there, the Tea Party Patriots put together the White Coat Summit. Now Simone Gold, Board certified emergency physician, okay? She appeared in one of these white coat rally videos and um, America's frontline doctors is what they call it. And then her video about hydroxychloroquine featuring literally practicing doctors um, talking about the positive effects of hydroxychloroquine. Um, they put together an open letter signed by 600 doctors uh, asking the president to end the lockdown. And um, Simone Gold has lost her job. Her employer found out about this. And because she put together a group of certified, trained, practicing doctors who wanted to talk about the positive effects of hydroxychloroquine and its use on COVID, she got canceled. She immediately got fired. Now, you know, we try to do the truth telling on this show and break it down. Sometimes I jump down the rabbit hole and say some crazy things. But, uh, this ain't one of them, okay? She got fired, all right? We put up a really good video that had some footage of that video in it to just bring you up to speed on what real qualified doctors are saying. And um, check this out. Liquid Lunch is on the radar now because uh, High Liquid Lunch, I can't read it from here, but they basically notified us that they, go ahead, read it, read, read that, Nico. This is an email we received from YouTube. It says, Hi, Liquid Lunch TV. As you may know, our community guidelines describe which content we allow and don't allow on YouTube. Your video, Hydroxychloroquine, Dr. Stella Emanuel says it's not a joke, was flagged to us for review. Upon review, we've determined that it violates our guidelines and we've removed it from YouTube. Then it goes on to say, YouTube does not allow content that spreads medical misinformation that contradicts the World Health Organization or local health authorities' medical information about COVID-19, including on methods to prevent, treat, or diagnose COVID-19 and me means of transmission of COVID-19. Huh. If, you if you're just tuning in, today's National Grab Your Nuts Day. Grab some nuts day. Um, so I am snacking on a full box of uh, super extra large mixed peanuts, which is delicious. Um, well, you know what? I wish uh, every day was National Grab Some Nuts Day because we do that kind of all the time on this show and we just go with it and we try to say the truth and, you know, ask uh, forgiveness instead of permission. But I guess now we found out firsthand that this is real. You have certified doctors currently practicing and licensed in the United States of America giving a press conference with positive effects of a drug called hydroxychloroquine. And at the same time, you have YouTube and Facebook determining that we were spreading misinformation about a medical disease. We're not. Unless they're saying all these doctors should be arrested, we're not. But there's not much we could do about it um, other than, truthfully, the minute you get your hands on something that's credible, um, shoot it back out there and tag 25 people and have them tag 25 people and get the word out. Because, you know, they got bots that follow accounts and they're automated fact checkers. OK, and the fact checkers, there's no human involved. If they hit one, two, three points, they just come in and zap you. Okay, and you're out. They report you over and over again until Facebook or YouTube takes action, right? So someone was telling me, I believe Janet um, on, our, on our Facebook page was saying that if you go into settings, okay, and then you go into blocking and type in fact check, okay, 
And when you type in the search for fact check, you're going to see a whole bunch of things following you, probably. Hopefully not, but you probably will. And then go out and block them, and it'll take them a little while before they figure out how to reinfest you with more fact checkers that are spreading information that they deem is true. First Amendment's out the window, folks. There is no more First Amendment. The First Amendment is being determined and balls and strikes are being called by Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg. That's what's really happening. They're calling what's media, what's news, and what's not good for you to hear, which is a bad thing. And that's why we joined Parler. I don't know if you guys out there know about Parler, uh, P-A-R-L-E-R. It's kind of a more open forum. Um, there's community standards, but they're not weighing in on whether or not they like your content and, and suppressing it if they don't. It's kind of open. You might want to check that out. We're building a little bit. But the one place we're building, I got to tell you, is with our, with our social media audience. And uh, if you're watching on Facebook right now, we are doing tremendous because a lot of our friends are sharing. And if you could share it with some comment, hey, check out Liquid Lunch or anything, not just hit share, but put a little comment in there. Um, and drop us a little engagement. If you're watching, if you think the show's good, if you think it sucks, you think I'm fat, you think I'm bald, whatever you think, uh, shoot it in. I mean, some, some people think when I have makeup and everything on, I actually look good. You could tell me that too if you want. It's rare. Nico's cracking up over there behind the, behind the screen because, oh, <laughs> Jess is stone faced today because she's got a hair curly. But uh, yeah, if you could drop us a few comments or a little thumbs up, a smiley face or something like that, it helps. Every bit helps. And um, we're going to keep doing it. I don't know if they're going to ban this from YouTube today because they said hydroxychloroquine so many times. Um, how long did it take them to catch us on that one, Jess? One day. One day. Mm -hmm. So we'll know probably t by tomorrow if this one gets canned. I doubt it, but we're going to keep one step ahead of them. One step ahead of them we will be when we're joined right here by Pavlina Osta. She's out with her new book, 20 Things Every Motivated 20-something should know. And she should know. She'll be here right after this.